Here we go with today's mostly interesting and a happy ending to a saga that began underground a week ago. Rescue teams in Turkey have now successfully carried an American researcher up from the depth of a cave. Mark Dickey had been on an expedition in southern Turkey when he fell ill with stomach bleeding, making him unable to get out on his own. About 190 personnel from eight countries have been taking part in this operation since Saturday afternoon. Search and rescue experts say they have had to move slowly, giving them time to widen some of the narrow cave pathways to accommodate for stretcher lines. Wow. That is just incredible. It most certainly is. You know, it's, just imagine, I mean, if you're claustrophobic, I mean, just the whole thing is, wow. Well, and the fact that it's a slow process very. also, that's gotta be very scary. Yep, for everybody. Yep, congratulations to them. Yes. This next story, however, can you tell me what you think? It all started with a very common phrase that you may have been told before. You gotta get a hobby. Told well, that a lot. <laughs> I've heard it too. <laughs> well, a man in Norway was told by his doctor to get off the couch and find something active to do, so he did. 51-year-old Erland Bohr bought himself a metal detector. And one of his first discoveries was some very fancy jewelry that dated back to the year around 500. Yes. He found nine pendants, three rings, and gold pearls. Now, under Norwegian law, objects that are old are considered state property and must be turned in. So the plan now is to, to uh, display them in an exhibit at a nearby archeological museum. So he finds this priceless jewelry. Yes. Because his doctor told him to get going. And when he found out the worth of them, he had a heart attack. <laughs> that part I made up. I was gonna say. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Can you imagine you find something like worth millions of dollars and now you have to give it back? I, all I'm thinking about is the other people who have one of those metal detectors who have gone out there a million and one times and they don't find anything, anything. like a couple of, you know, coins or, you know, a couple pennies and that's yeah. about it. Yeah. Which actually it ends up being more valuable to you, if you, because you can keep those. Huh. I guess. Rusty ball. <laughs> can you believe that? No. Wow. I wonder what he's gonna do next. He'll be like, "Wow, this not metal leaving detect. my house thing, <laughs> pretty amazing." <laughs> well, when we come back, we.